Doctor Strange is one of the most powerful heroes in the entire Marvel Universe, a master of the mystic arts and defender of the Earth against threats both cosmic and supernatural. And given his connections to some of the weirder forces at play throughout the Marvel multiverse, it makes sense that some of his alternate universe variants would be some of the wildest as well. Hey everybody, I'm Josh Busker, and today we're going to be counting down the top 10 weirdest alternate versions of Doctor Strange. Let's hop right into it, shall we? Come Coming in at number 10, we have the undead Doctor Strange from the Marvel Zombies universe. While this version of Stephen Strange was able to avoid the initial outbreak of the zombie virus that destroyed their version of Earth, he was eventually tragically bitten and converted into a member of the undead army while defending a dimensional doorway that would have allowed the zombie swarm to invade and infest other realities. The newly zombified Doctor Strange now uses this doorway to peer through the alternate worlds of the Marvel multiverse and find ideal worlds for the zombie invasion to begin anew, making this a very weird but also very dangerous interpretation of Doctor Strange. Coming in at number 9, we have the Soldier Supreme, a very odd combination of Doctor Strange and the Punisher. On an alternate Earth where vampires have killed most of the world's heroes and converted much of the normal population, one of the few vigilantes remaining is Frank Castle. Possessed by the spirit and knowledge of Doctor Stephen Strange as a last ditch effort to save this reality, the Punisher and the Sorcerer Supreme combined into a single vampire slaying enemy, turning the Punisher's violent tendencies into the last defense against an unstoppable vampire army. Coming in at number 8, we have the Ultimate Universe version of Doctor Strange, aka Stephen Strange Jr. In the Ultimate Marvel Universe, this version of Doctor Strange that we're introduced to is actually the son of a more traditional interpretation of the character. Following in his father's footsteps, Stephen Strange Jr. eventually becomes the Sorcerer Supreme following his dad's disappearance. But the odd part that gets him on this list is unfortunately his over the top and needlessly nasty death. During the Ultimatum event, a highly controversial storyline in which Magneto wiped out millions of lives and resulted in dozens of over the top and edgy deaths for many Marvel heroes, Doctor Strange had his head popped like a literal balloon by Dormammu possessing his cloak. Most people dislike this event because of how deliberately edgy it tried to be, and with an anticlimactic death like this, it's really not hard to see why. I mean, his cloak? Really? Coming in at number 7, we have the powerless Doctor Stephen Strange. In issue number 40 of the first volume of Marvel's original What If comics, we got to see an alternate reality where Baron Mordo wound up becoming the Sorcerer Supreme. And while most of the story would focus on Mordo's misadventures in the role, Doctor Strange's role in it is definitely unique to say the least. When Stephen Strange showed up on the Ancient One's doorstep, wondering if there was any possibility the mystic arts could heal his hands, the Ancient One simply taught him some anxiety decreasing meditation, and then sent him on his way, making Strange believe that it was all some sort of yoga retreat. This version of Strange would go on to merely become a peaceful professor at a medical school, which, compared to the Sorcerer Supreme's usual lifestyle, is definitely a little bit, well, strange. Coming in at number 6, we have Strange Supreme from the first season of the Disney Plus show, What If? In an alternate timeline where, instead of losing his hands in a car accident, Stephen Strange instead has to endure the loss of the love of his life, Dr. Christine Palmer. Desperate to bring her back, Strange trains in the mystic arts, but finds himself drawn to much darker powers as he realizes that Christine's death is a fixed point in this timeline, and it would take an incredible amount of magical power to undo it. Turning to the dark side and becoming Strange Supreme, Strange absorbs centuries worth of magical beings before finally absorbing even his own better self. Tragically, even when he does have enough power to save Christine, she is disgusted at the monster he's become to save her, leaving him alone as the entire universe collapses around him. Coming in at number 5, we have the elderly Doctor Strange from Earth 982. An alternate universe that mainly focused on potential children of Marvel heroes and the next generation of crime fighters, Earth 982, or MC2 as it's more commonly known, is also home to one of the most unique versions of Doctor Strange, because instead of his traditional salt and pepper look, this Stephen Strange has gone full Gandalf the White. 
Having long since retired from the position of Sorcerer Supreme, an elderly strange is called back into action as a master of the mystic arts when the new wielder of the role, Doc Magus, begins to tamper with darker powers. And while Strange would need help from the younger generation of heroes, this grizzled but still magical sorcerer is definitely one of the coolest looking versions of the character. Coming in at number 4, we have Doctor Strange of the year 1602 from the Marvel series of the same name. In this offshoot of the multiverse where many of Marvel's classic heroes were now born during the era of the 17th century, Doctor Stephen Strange was an advisor to the first Queen Elizabeth, and the right hand man to the monarchy when it came to all matters relating to magic. This old timey take on the character would be weird enough on its own, but gets extra bizarre when you consider that this this version of Strange was eventually executed by the monarchy for treason, but continued to give guidance to this Earth's heroes as a ghost from the afterlife. Talk about not retiring when your time is up, am I right? Coming in at number 3, we're back in the world of animal puns with croc -ter Strange. That's right, Loki isn't the only magical hero with an alligator alter ego. Hailing from the same reality as the meme-worthy spectacular Spider-Man, croc -ter Strange is an anthropomorphic crocodile who learned his magic from a being known as the Rancid One and often clashes with the pig-themed Bormammu. And if that's not punny enough for you, this version of Strange is also a member of the Unhumanati instead of the Illuminati, which also features a mouse themed version of Iron Man. Ooh, and I thought they said Disney taking over wouldn't have any weird side effects. Coming in at number 2, we have a wild combination with the DC Universe with Doctor Strange Fate. During the Marvel vs DC miniseries of comics, an alternate reality known as Amalgam Comics was born, featuring combinations of iconic DC and Marvel heroes put into one body. One of the most notable of all of these crazy combinations was the being known as Doctor Strange Fate, a three-way mix-up between Doctor Stephen Strange, Doctor Charles Xavier, and the DC hero Doctor Fate. Man, this guy's got more PhDs than a diploma factory. With all of these magical, telepathic, and reality warping powers combined, Doctor Strange Fate was incredibly powerful, but one of the weirdest aspects of the character was the fact that he knew he was just a temporary creation of a cross over event, and thus spent much of his time attempting to find a way to keep his reality ongoing. How very meta of you, Doctor Strange Fate. And finally, coming in at our top spot is the only Doctor Strange variant with feathers, we have Doctor Strange. Hailing from the same weird world as Howard the Duck, aka Earth 791,021, you might be wondering why a duck themed version of Doctor Strange is labeled as weirder than a crocodile themed one. And that is because this Doctor Strange is also a drunk. Studying under the ancient wino, this this Strange's version of communicating with spirits is literally drinking spirits, although he does still possess enough magical energy to be able to transport himself and various other duck themed heroes to different dimensions, including the mainstream Marvel Universe. Just maybe lay off the booze a little bit, I'm not sure how well birds can handle their liquor. That's all the time we have for today's list, but who do you think is the weirdest version of Doctor Strange? Be sure to let us know down in the comments below, and if you enjoyed this video, be sure to hit the like button and hit that subscribe button. As always, I've been Josh Busker, and I'll see you all next time, Nerd Squad.